Hi guys, Jose Prada here from UR Visuals. Welcome back to our channel. We're going to go today uh, through another way of uh, grading an image because some of you asked about our method in the last, uh, last frames that we shared in uh, some Facebook uh, groups or even in, uh, on our Instagram profile. So this is from our new upcoming project uh, about uh, the craft beer scene in London. So this is the teaser and this was the interview for for our teaser to Sean Knight, the amazing brewer um, here in London. So we're going to teach some other techniques so so you can see how, how to rate it from a different perspective. That's our aim here to show different methods that we use because we we don't always uh, grade um, with the same method. It it depends on your mood, on the shot that you have, or even the the kind of footage that 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 you have the camera you're working with. So in this case, for this uh, scene, it was the GH5 again for uh, the, our beloved camera. So we're going to go from this point to this one using one of those methods um, it won't be exactly this you know this ending image because I'm going to go again by taste uh, I'm going to delete this effect of color fina finale that we love and uh, we're going to apply it Um, you know, from the in the previous tutorial, uh, I show how to start uh, a grading from scratch. But sometimes you want to use uh, LUTs that you find online, or even your own LUTs. Uh, in this case, we're going to to use this Millennial LUT that we love. But uh, yeah, we're not going to apply the LUT to its full power. So. We're going to add this layer here. We're going to use our Millennial LUT. As you see, it's a washout um, LUT that works well for other projects. Uh, we use that in fashion things, but it's a good starting point. But we want here a more contrasted look. So we're, we're going to go back, not 100%. We're going to apply a curve. But as, as you see, if you want to go dark, when you apply the curve before, the LUT is preventing the blacks from clipping because the LUT has the limit here, you know? So it's different if you apply the curve here, which is what I want to do now. So we're going to go straight to zero to make this more crushy here. Again, we're going to play with this only a bit touch because this way you're going to have the colors that you want because maybe you like this lot or your own lot but you're going towards this color contrast that is already done in in production because you see that here you have a pretty neutral light in his face and here you have a warm light so we're going to play a bit now with colors. We're going to give the midtones and the skins a more orange look. We're going to compensate in the shadows without going too far. to add a bit of saturation here so I want a bit of punch and I think the image asks for some color here we're going to add another color wheels this is a technique I use a lot that when I want to go crazy but you have to be careful and play with the opacity here and go low so you can do coloring as I 
call it the image. Imagine you want to go super warm in the midtones. And a bit cold in the shadows without being very teal and orange, which we'll try to avoid here, but a bit at least a bit of color contrast. As you see, this is a very subtle effect because if, if I go all the way up, it's like this. We don't want that. Only a bit of touch of, you know, this layer. Now we're going to go a bit cold on the highlights too. And then one thing that I used to apply and many people, many colorists do, when you try to do your shadows, you know, to take your shadows towards one color, what happens with your eyes is that you don't see a lot of color information in the shadow, so it's nice to desaturate that part of the lumen range, in this case the shadows, you see what happens. If I go up, you see greens here, and even here in the shadows, you see how everything compensates, you know, it's more natural. So you're creating a, a stylized grade, but it's not so obvious, you know, it looks more cinematic, you know, going with uh, this desaturation in the shadows. Yeah, you see that. We play here with the contrast, we apply the lot here. Here we add this little bit of touch. You can play till you like it. And here we got rid of the greens in the shadows a bit. You can play here more. For example, for the for the skin tones, I used to play a lot. So imagine that you create some points here. You want to change the hue of the skin. You see, the only thing is that you you should do a mask aside from that because. The color here is similar in hue to the face, so it will change the entire image, which maybe we don't want. But we'll we'll explain how to apply masks in Final Cut Pro in next tutorial. So let's go for this now. Even luminance you can change the luminance of the skin if you want to give the character more important in the scene make those reds brighter but yeah from this point it's all about playing let's go back to the Lot. You see that it's a pretty good starting point. This millennial lot that it's it's available in our shopping or page. We like it a lot because it's normally our starting point in different uh, intensities. So it's all a, ma a matter of taste from here, because from this point. you have a pretty standard image so from here you start playing more with subtle touches to your image and this would be for example the final image for this project 
So that's all. If you like, uh, please subscribe or comment below if you have any questions. This was one of the possible approaches when you color grade from Color Finale Pro. And uh, I hope you like it. Uh, it gives you some tip to add to your arsenal of techniques when grading an image. So see you guys and um, have a nice week.